5th or 6th grade, your health class turns dark. It goes from eating healthy and vegetables to smoking, drugs, and worst of all, sex ed. My school ended up starting sex ed from the 4th grade for some reason. Anyway, this video is going to be split into four chapters. The first being 4th grade, the second being 5th grade, the third being 6th grade, and the last and fourth being the 7th and the 8th grade. I'm not going to waste any more time, so let's just skip straight into the video. So because of the pandemic, for fourth grade, I was in virtual school. I'm just going to quickly go two years back to when I was in the fourth grade. So I remember that it was the last month of the school year and it was health class. So I log in to the Google Meet and my health teacher starts talking. Okay, everyone, um, next week we will be starting our growth and development unit in health class. So the health teacher started talking about what growth and development is and what we will be learning. And I wanted my friend's opinion on it. Luckily, health was the last class of the day. So I got to hop on a messenger or a video call with him right away. So I hop on the video call with my friend who we'll call Fred. And I'm asking him, Yo, Fred, what do you think about this growth and development thing? Surprisingly, Fred answers with, Oh, I already know everything about growth and development. Now, that was weird, considering we were like 9 and 10 years old at the time. Eventually, the day came and we signed on to the Google Meet. Our health teacher told us that there were going to be two separate days for the sex ed. One for boys and one for girls. Now, I'm pretty sure normally... You had to split up the boys and girls for sex ed, but for fourth grade, they did not do that. Now, luckily, fourth grade sex ed was more about puberty than, uh, the other thing. But the pictures, the pictures, they were not to be shown to fourth graders. But fifth grade was when it got real. So in fifth grade, I was still virtual. Thankfully, unlike the 5th grade, we actually got split into boys and girls separate meets. So me and the rest of the 5th grade boys hop into the meet. Now we're in the meet, and the teacher talks to us and says our lesson is going to be about the male reproductive system. Now normally I pay attention to school, but this is one of the lessons that I don't even remember half of what we were learning. In the 5th grade, we just got this diagram, and we got to answer a few questions and blah blah blah, and we were done. But I personally think that that was the most uncomfortable time of the 5th grade school year, and I'm sure a lot of people would agree. Okay, so I wasn't here for 6th grade sex ed, but I'm going to share some of my friends' experiences. But the craziest story I've been told about 6th grade sex ed is that they gotta watch The Hub in class. I'm sorry, but if your teacher decided they should be watching that kind of stuff in class, then that's just weird, because we were in the 6th grade. This is the official grade 6 sex ed curriculum. And right in the first topic is what I'm talking about. Alright, so I ended up talking to a bunch of my 6th grade friends in my class, and they told me that none of this happened, so maybe he just capped it. I guess in my school, they were just going to save it for the 7th grade. And speaking of the 7th grade... So I recently graduated from the 6th grade, so I don't have any experiences for the 7th and 8th grade. But they do post our grade by grade curriculums online, so we can just review that. Let's start with the things I already know for now. So I'm pretty sure in the 7th grade, we're gonna have to get vaccinated for STDs. Now, I don't really understand this because we're 12 years old. What do they think we're doing at 12 years old? Apparently we're supposed to learn about that and protection, I guess? The 8th grade is pretty much the exact same thing, so I'm just going to end the video here. Thank you everyone for watching. See you in the next video. Drop a like and subscribe and comment your own sex ed stories if you have them. Bye!